Hello, hello. Earlier yesterday afternoon, we had a great deal of trouble trying to get this game to live stream. I believe I have determined this one to be my fault, because I think my connection took a massive shit all over itself. Uh, I think it's been resolved, but I trust you'll let me know if it hasn't. Hmm, I'm smoking my icon pipe. Hmm. Hopefully it will stream for you better, but yes, I, I believe the connection problems are my fault. Look at Watson, hammering down that T there. Okay, I already read all this. Basically, I caught a monkey, or I found a monkey that stole... I deduced that a monkey stole a necklace, but the necklace turned out to be fake, and the newspaper is making it look like Holmes stole it. French culinary expert and bagpipe player might be our next king. That's not so shocking, my dear fellow. You know exactly to which article I'm referring, Holmes. How can Farley dare to tarnish your reputation like that? You know, Watson, that wherever glory walks, jealousy is bound to follow. Glory. As for the forgery of the necklace, I suspect that we shall soon be enlightened in this regard. Come in, Inspector Baines. The door's open. Ah, oh, Mr. Holmes. How did you know I was here? Oh, don't ask him. He'll visitors who avoids the second to last step of the stairs which creaks dreadfully and if i add the clinking of the handcuffs at your belt to what do we owe the pleasure of your visit inspector have you read that rag what the slender man inspector can you explain this slander <coughs> has the necklace of the samoas really been replaced by a fake i don't know how the reporter got hold of the information but it's true about the necklace, of course. I have the eyes of a drowned corpse. The integrity and honesty of Mr. Holmes. The necklace is a forgery? Impossible. I saw the Marquis authenticated before my very eyes, before Holmes returned it to its place. Mr. Holmes, the Marquis believes Osmond Farley's theory. I shouldn't be surprised if the reporter isn't behind all this slander about you. He's a freelancer, well known for his explosive and subjective articles. In any case, the Marquis assures us that you were the last person to have the necklace in your Let's return to the Marquis's house. I'll kick his ass myself. No trouble in taking apart this theory. It is unnecessary. Such allegations collapse on their own, like one of Mrs. Hudson's souffles. Ooh, burn. The like Miss, one of Mrs. Hudson's souffles. Attention to the matters in hand. Perhaps you are right, Holmes. Inspector, I assume that you have the fake necklace with you. It's why you're here. Your superiors would like me to examine it. Indeed. They would like you to confirm or deny putting this fake in the box. Can't that wait? I must go to the house of Lord Peregrine Maitland, the Bishop of Knightsbridge. And the Marchioness? She is beside herself. Without the necklace, her marriage is compromised. Wow. Okay. It is okay. the principal item of the young woman's dowry. Well, just, lovely just don't tell anyone it's fake. Holmes, forgive me for insisting. But don't you want to examine the fake jewellery? Watson, I have an appointment, and it's out of the question that I arrive late. It will only take you a couple of minutes. You really must quell the suspicions put forward in this appalling article. <laughs> if you will allow me, Inspector, be my guest. Wait, Watson Watson really cares about this. He is like, righteously offended. Ah! What do you think, Holmes? Yes, it appears to be pearly. This pearl is a different color. These three pearls are of poor quality. Quite. This pearl is too small. It is not in its place. <coughs> too many defects. This necklace is a fake. This is nothing but a vulgar copy, and at a glance it would appear that the forger has intended for it to be seen as such. Huh? How could we have been fooled by such a blatant imitation? I don't understand. Yes, how is it possible? 
But Holmes, do you have a theory about? Do you know everything, Holmes? I have absolutely no idea. You insisted that I examine the necklace, and I have done so. Now it is important that I keep my appointment. I'm sure, Inspector, that you will throw some light on this affair. Holmes, you may accompany me, Watson, if you care to do so. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'll keep you informed as to my inquiries. Goodbye, Inspector. You the mentioned a bishop, didn't you? Are we going to his home? Yes, the Bishop of Knightsbridge. I put his address on our map of London on my desk. Would you get it for me, please? All right, Holmes. I can't believe the nerve of that fellow. Impugning your honour and dignity? Why? It just makes me so angry. Where, where's that map again, Holmes? I have found your map. I've got it, Mr. Holmes. Yeah! The police? Already? How did you know? You called so you us. see the Bishop of Knightsbridge? Yes. Yes, of course. Come in. What has happened, Reverend? What? I... I don't know. It was last night, I think. I only just arrived, and I have made this macabre discovery. My God. How horrible. I haven't called anyone. How did you know that? Holmes, look! The bishop, appallingly mutilated. How dreadful. <laughs> How dreadful. And killed. He was such a good man. How could anyone be so brutal? Look at him. He is barely recognizable now. How could any of God's children be responsible for that? They were evidently unworthy children, Reverend. Now do please try to calm yourself and focus, because we will need your assistance. Do you have any idea as to the motive behind this? I haven't had time to do an inventory, but nothing appears to have been stolen. And anyway, His Excellency didn't own anything of great value. <coughs> I don't know what else I can tell you. Note this down, please, Doctor. Doctor? But you aren't the police? No, no isn't I it? I am Sherlock Holmes, and this is Dr. Watson. We are here at the request of the Bishop. S slow down, I Holmes. I, I can't write all this. And not to touch anything. You're talking too fast. The authorities without further delay. Uh, Reverend, when the inspectors of Scotland Yard find themselves at a dead end, which they quite often do, I assure you, then they turn to me for help. If you will allow us to continue our investigation, then you shall have the answers to all of your questions. Out of the question! I don't even know you! I'm going to call the police, whether you like it or not. It would be better for everyone, Reverend, if you kept your temper. Before I so break your ass. This affair promises to be a complex one. Therefore, we must not overlook the slightest detail. Yes, Holmes. I am keeping a meticulous set of notes. I have created a very clever deduction board. Oh, One thing well, what we now? sure of at the moment is that this crime was not for gain. The Reverend has informed us that nothing valuable was stolen. And indeed, it would seem that the Bishop had nothing of any worth to take. Very good, Watson. Do continue. I'll be over here, not listening. Uh... Okay. <coughs> My word! You can see by his expression that he suffered terribly. His mouth is covered in blood, and I can make out strips of skin between his teeth. His chest has been lacerated, I would say, with a very sharp and fine blade. Oops. Inventory. You. Oh. The fingers have been crushed and violently struck. His forearms have been ripped. Pieces of skin. <coughs> have been torn. Oh man, excuse me. What do you think, Watson? I'd say that he was eaten alive. <laughs> Yet I've noticed a curious. 
serious degeneration How dreadful. of tissue around the wounds. My dear friend, everything points to this man having gnawed at his own forearms. That's unbelievable, Holmes. His stomach is covered in scratches. Quite evidently, they weren't made recently. So, these wounds were not made by his murderers. Mm -hmm. The fingers have been... Yeah, we know that. A piece of rope that was used to tie up that poor man. <coughs> hey, look, a finger, which I can't pick up. I can't pick up the finger. This poor man was tied just below the knees to stop him from walking, certainly, but mostly to free his feet. His feet have been burned. No shit. My first impression is that he wears a size nine shoe. Right. You. But what does it matter, Holmes? My God, Holmes, this man was horribly tortured. We've established that. A finger. Free finger. Apparently, it doesn't belong to the Bishop of Knightsbridge. How dreadful. <laughs> dreadful. This whole thing is terribly dreadful. Something is missing here. Oh, yes? And what might that be? His shoes. Watson, his shoes are missing. How dreadful! This stove is filled to overflowing. A broken bottle of whiskey. Dreadful! The Bishop of Waste of good whiskey. For his sobriety. A bottle of whiskey. I can make out fingerprints stained with blood and dirt. Clearly the monkey did the this. who tortured the bishop to death were intoxicated with alcohol. There is blood on this paperweight. This paperweight was used to crush the victim's fingers. Aha. It's a cilice designed to bruise the person wearing it. The bishop wore it as repentance. Ah, flagellation. A whip? <coughs> no. It is a discipline for self-flagellation. This very pious man must have had the habit of mortifying his flesh as a means of repentance. This metal rod is for fastening the chillies. I think I shall be taking oh, this rod. No. Well, I see more of him here. The picture of Peregrine Maitland, commander of the infantry brigade of Her Majesty's Guards. At yeah, I, I've the streamed this before, but the I've... Same name as his ancestor, an illustrious Sorry. family. I've forgotten basically everything that has happened, so... I'm, I'm redoing this short bit again. He's scribbling away. Surgical scalpel covered <coughs> in blood. There isn't any doubt the wounds on the bishop were administered with this scalpel. Closed. The veranda door hasn't been forced. Strange. Reverend, might I have the key? No. <laughs> I have no authority here. Let me call the police. Watson, hold him down. Listen to him, home. Perhaps you should let me get on with this, Watson. Kick. Closed. Well, I, I don't have to take this. A broken file. File. What a strange smell. Chemical components, I think. File. What do you think, Holmes? That's penetrating insight, Watson. Thank you. This door has not been forced. Where does it lead, Reverend? To His Excellency's room. There is just a mattress and a stool. Up, oh, there's a desk. You lie, Watson. The bishop's bedroom. 
It is very austere. Nothing in particular here. Quite larger than my dorm at university. I need something. <coughs> oh, sorry. Impossible to open it. Reverend, I'm missing something. An implement with which to open this chest. Uh, could you tell me where to find it? No, go to the devil! How Don't dare you? Me, Reverend, what is inside the chest? I'm not afraid of anything. In fact, I do have the necessary implements. But if I have to give them to anyone, it will be to a representative of the law and no one else. Slap him in the balls! You have no right to search here. Metal stick. I need closed. Holmes, use my deduction board. The veranda wasn't searched. Oh. <clears throat> oh, so I gotta, I gotta pick one. I get it. I get it. Victim was savagely tortured. Aha! I've made a discovery! My my deduction board paid off! Hang on. Got some blood at its top. No, they didn't make him drink blood. Okay, that didn't really help. Have you seen this? You have no right to search here. I, I just want to start showing him things. I don't know what it is. Something I'm missing in here. Aha! It's impossible to get out. There's a crumpled up note that would seem to be interesting, but I suppose not. Huh. Ah, uh, of course. Watch where you're putting your feet, Watson. Have you noticed these prints <coughs> on the ground? Well, yes, those muddy marks. 
See here, Watson. Footprints can often provide more vital information than the very best of informants. Yes, if you know how to make them talk, that is. Can you, Holmes? Make them talk for me. We'll begin by excluding the contaminating prints, which are yours and mine from where we came in, and those of our dear Reverend, who was so impatient to call the police. I need something. A fragment of stone. Peculiar. Not really that peculiar, but all right. This print came from an expensive pair of shoes, and it seems recent. It is not a laborer's shoe. Well-worn shoes with an odd pattern on the soles. Well-worn. Hobnail boots like those worn by laborers. Yep. Size nine. Whee. Size nine. Size size nine and a half. Size nine and yeah. size nine. How many criminals were there? Well, let's put this together. I would say there were three. Perfect. We now know that there were three crooks. What do the footprints reveal? One man joined those who were already in the room. One man left the room wearing different shoes. One man was carried. Or all men left the room jumping on one leg. Yeah, I, I figure a guy changed shoes. Strange but true. One of the crooks was wearing a different pair of shoes when he left here. They all Therefore, hopped out on men one leg. Came in and left again. But one of them was wearing a different pair of shoes from the ones which he came in with. So, all we have to do is look for a workman who likes Italian shoes. Aha! Uh -huh. Put out an APB, Inspector. I would say one of the murderers left wearing the bishop's shoes. Meaning... The murderer sells shoes. No, one of the murderers came back. The murderer searched for the bishop. No, his shoes aren't that great. No, sorry. Actually, no, I'm not sure. Say they're hired by somebody. Bishop of Knightsbridge's killers were after something specific, and that they did not find it. Reverend, I shall ask you one more time. Open the chest. Or I'll open it with your face. Must still be inside. It is unlikely that they will let this matter rest. They will most certainly return to finish what they started. And I'm telling you once more, the chest is locked and shall remain so. Very well. We have reached an impasse. You are a stubborn man, Reverend. Watson, accompany our friend to the police station and return with Inspector Baines. Baines and no one else. I shall wait for you here. Go. Not Lestrade. I'm Hello, not speaking Watson. to Lestrade. Now I can continue my investigation. Lestrade knows what he did. But I would think the pin would do it. Just kick the fucking door in. This lock should be easy to pick. Oh. Let's see. Now he wants to do it. Hmm.
That's not right. That's not right. That's not right. All right, what am I missing? <clears throat> That's not. Well, I see the pattern here. Hang on. There we are. I see. It is simplicity itself. There isn't anything much in this room. It must be used as a reading or meditation room. Well, that was a waste of time. An ink stain, quite fresh. This stain is just on the edge yeah! of the rug. Let's see. There is nothing on the floor. Yet the ink must have soaked through the rug. How did you do that? This inkwell was tipped over recently. I've been locked in. There is nothing on the floor. Hmm. This inkwell. Yeah, I know. There is nothing on the f Yeah, well, I want. I don't know what I want. Inkwell. There is blood. in the same place. <coughs> Someone has moved the rug recently. Really tied the room together, wouldn't you agree? That is curious. There is something strange on the floor. Certain stones have been marked out, just like a chessboard. Except nothing like a chessboard. That is curious. I need... That I need. Well, I'm trying to help you here, Holmes. Thank you, game. Yes, I know. I need. Yeah. Lots of weird noises just keep popping up. Alone at last. <coughs> what? Am I getting text messages? Someone wanted to hide this statue. This horse resembles a large chess piece. Perhaps the queen. There is a message underneath this statue. Let's see. Put me down. Use your passion for chess. The last square in which the knight will place himself after having covered all the others will be the right one. I love you. Hmm. <laughs> 
the last square in which the knight will place himself. After having covered all the others will be the right one. This message was written by a woman, but for whom was it intended? Interesting, this chess game. I accept your challenge. Oh, so look, if it starts there. Okay, I've got to cover all the spots. I get it. I've done this puzzle before. Like, in... In real life, you know what I mean? I was in chess club, you see. Seriously, I was. Uh, gotta stay methodical on this. Pretty sure this is the right way. That's the only way. That or that. No. Wait. That, 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 that. 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 That way. That. <coughs> that. No, I gotta go here. I got it. Shit, no, I don't. No, I do, I got it. This last piece should be the good one. It will <coughs> be pulled free. I need... Well, pull it free, then. <laughs> Dick. My love, what a beautiful spring. And what a marvelous day! Our dear youngest child's birthday. Every moment is so precious as our child blossoms, and without a doubt, without a doubt, he will soon be talking. I'm sure that he misses his. I'm sure that his first words will be for you. He misses you so much. Are you sure you cannot get away on Sunday after vespers? I thought that. Dot dot. Okay. Love letters. Oh, a scandalous vicar. A packet of letters. Addressed to the Reverend. They were written by a woman who mentions his illegitimate children. That affair isn't official. Perfect. I have you now, my wayward Reverend. Soon you will pay for your insolence. Ah, Watson. You were gone a terribly long time, and Inspector Baines isn't with you. I'm afraid not, Holmes. We were unable to find What you literally ran all the way down to the police station? Contact any inspector other than this Baines. What manners? I am a man of the church. My dear Reverend, I notice that you are a chess lover. I trust you will excuse me, but I am never able to resist the appeal of a half finished game. You are an expert at chess. Very well then. What do you want now? As you might have guessed, resolving your small chess problem has allowed me to discover some very interesting letters. Letters? What do they say? Let me Reverend, read them. Can I, Holmes? Can I? Let us hear and run the risk of the bishop finding them. Holmes, what's in the letter? Tell me. Not now, Watson. He's on the loose. Where else could I have hidden them? My own chambers are too austere. They could all. <coughs> I knew, however, that His Excellency, may he rest in peace, would not notice my game. The contents of the Bishop of Knightsbridge's chest interest me greatly. Give me the elements you hold, Reverend. Out of the question. Oh, just beat his ass. I am a gentleman, and it would distress me to be obliged to pass this correspondence across to your superiors. Holmes, I know that the end justifies the means, but allow me to express some reservations about how you are... Pipe down. You say you're a gentleman, but I hear nothing but the words of a blackmailer. The stems that you are looking for are scattered about this room. Manage by yourself. Found them. Na 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 na.
Bum, 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 bum. Well, that's certainly something, but I don't know. I don't know the secret. Whoops. This reverend bugs me, man. Yes, I can. Ding. This step. Anyone seen a little stick? You motherfucker. No. Oh, what's where the hell is it? Yeah, I gathered that. What is that? That little ding. Oh, you've got to be kidding me with that shit. You have won. Evidently, as I always do. What are you able to tell us about the Bishop of Knightsbridge's last days? Did anyone come to visit him? Did he seem worried or <coughs> anxious? Do not omit the smallest detail. His nephew came to see him yesterday at His Excellency's request. I found this well, now he's talking? Because the young man rarely visits his uncle. Do you know why that might be? Were they on bed? Why? I don't think so. It's rather a consequence of his work. The he always does that. Within the archive section of the Royal Library. Why? Leave him with a lot of free time. Do you know the reason for his summons? No, but the conversation was very heated. It only lasted for a few minutes and ended with the nephew in a terrible rage. Interesting. I've answered your questions. Will you now let me contact the authorities? <laughs> oh, just let him go. Reverend, not just yet. All right, now we can open the safe. Can we? I fail to see how. You have no right to search here. All right, now we can open the safe. Do tell. <coughs> the ding indicates the six senses recharged. Uh, well, this is not a proper chessboard. A chessboard has a white square in the lower right-hand corner. These traces reveal that the thieves tried to open this chest. Look at his little tiny hand. I'm trying to understand.
<coughs> Sorry, excuse me. I got nothing. be a clue on this painting. Can I use my magnifying glass? I don't have one. Only when it's convenient, right? Picture has to have something to do with it. Him and his tiny hands. The brass buttons. Well, they're just all in a line, aren't they? I can't move the painting. At least I don't think I can. Okay, there's... <coughs> I have, what, eight, eight pins? Seven pins. I just don't know. Yeah, I thought the Reverend was the chess nerd. What's what's up with him? You have no right to search here. No, but... Th this has nothing to do with chess, I guess. Right? I don't know. Shit. May not even be what I'm looking for. <coughs> it's got to be attached to that. It's too obvious. Wait, wait. It removes shit off the board? This has, if you put them like knights, they stay, but if you don't do that, they go away. Wait, why did that not work? It can't share a diagonal? Can't share a row. Shit. Hmm. 
Now I can open the chest. Wow. Okay, that was not made obvious at all. <coughs> I am eager to discover what remarkable treasure could justify such an act of barbarity. Extraordinary. <laughs> this chest is impenetrable. How is it possible? No one other than the bishop should be able to open it. You open the chest with disconcerting ease, Holmes. I've seen and heard quite enough. I'm a little creeped out, Holmes. Catch him, Watson. What the? But why? Because he's running. But I've got a bum knee, Holmes. You know that. He's um. escaped. I hope that your motivations are founded, Holmes. I don't much like skirting around the edges of the law like this. It is annoying. Let's leave without delay. What have you found in the chest, Holmes? What in there is so precious for these men to commit such terrible acts? The Reverend was telling the truth. <coughs> Nothing important was locked inside the chest, apart from a few religious items which are hardly worth stealing. So, we haven't made any headway. Perhaps the police will. <coughs> By the time the police arrive, <coughs> we shall be a long way from here, Watson. We are leaving. They're acting awfully suspicious, Holmes. Well, let's go to Shea Baker Street. <coughs> we have crossed London at a breakneck speed. We could have knocked someone over, and naturally I had to pay the cabbie out of my own pocket. Watson, stop complaining. We have to analyze the clues found at the bishop's but house. I'm beginning to think you're not taking our relationship seriously, Holmes. Not even a thank you? Like, I never. Speaking of chess, eh? Okay, I have to... Actually, what time is it? It's... <coughs> I figure out when I took my last... Uh, when did I last take my cough medicine? Give me five minutes. <coughs> I'll be right back, okay? I'll be back soon. Sorry. Sorry.